What's so good about this shoe anyway? This is their third. This is their third shoe. So they started with the cut one, which was so popular, and then the cut two, which was equally less popular. Now the cut three. What's up everybody, Diamond Brothers here. Today, we're going to talk about basketball shoes where game meets style, right here on our YouTube channel. Let's get it. Support by Charlie Mobile, the fun network that helps you and your friends stay connected. Welcome to the channel where ball is life. Let's talk about kicks that get us there. I'm G Money, and as always, my man Amigo is behind the camera. Charlie, what's up? Today, we're going to talk about the Nike GT Cut 3. Traction and Tech. The Nike GT Cut 3 features a very simple but yet very complex traction pattern and technology. As you can see, this has the arrow traction on the forefoot and in the heel. It also features a spring plate that runs from the middle of the foot to the front to give an extra pep in your step. What's up with the uh, grip being triangles this time? The other one had like circles or something. It's the same similar pattern as the uh, previous shoes that we talked about, but this is a very uh, simple herringbone traction that gives you great grip and ability to cut. Um, the shoe also features something new, which is ZoomX Foam. ZoomX Foam has been primarily used in Nike's running shoes for the elite uh, that their two to three hundred dollar running shoes featured this foam cushion and fit the nike gt cut 3 is a stiff shoe not meant for heavy players but meant for quick guards and to get up and down the floor very fast features a very padded tongue as you can see here and uh, the fit I would say is true to size I wouldn't go down or go up unless you have a wide foot I would go up half a size materials and style the Nike GT cut 3 in my opinion looks very basic although it looks basic it features pretty premium but lightweight material as you can see there's suede here. There's nice suede here on the tongue and it's padded. Good I padding. Notice the suede there. Yeah, it's pretty nice to the touch. And then there's like this lightweight uh, ripstop material here on the side of the shoe. But the downside to all this nice material and lightweight shoe, this shoe does not breathe well. Uh, it took me about a day just to dry them and I don't have sweaty feet. So please keep that in mind. And uh, overall, the style is all right, all right, in my opinion. All right, guys, it's time for our Diamond Brothers rating. We talked about the traction and tech, the herringbone traction, how it does so well, the spring plate, how it helps you run faster, the incredible ZoomX foam, and they also come with uh, an insole. This insole is not good, uh, pretty flimsy, typical of Nike. I would recommend you put in your own custom orthotic or another insole that's more comfortable. We also talked about the cushion and fit. I would recommend going true to size. And if you have a wide foot, go up half a size, but not recommend going down half a size. We talked about materials and style, how the very lightweight shoe not very stylish, but they use premium materials that hurt the breathability of the shoe. Looks kind of like a running shoe made for basketball. Yeah, it looks like a running shoe made for basketball. That's a great way to describe it, Amigo. Uh, overall, we give this an 8.5 out of 10 diamonds. So lace up like and hit subscribe and come ball with us it's more than a game it's a way of life thanks and see you on the next one peace